Hey y'all, what is going on? This is Jesse Both from the 19th Hole, and I'm going to do a rookie playthrough here for the current Christmas tournament, and this is holes 1 through 9 of the new Grunberg Slopes course. And we're going to start on hole number 1 here. We have a par 4 to kick things off. We're going to play a plus 10% elevation off the tee box here for this hole. I recommend an extra mile and a power 1 ball. I will use a navigator ball in this example. Um, but you could also probably get away with using a Marlin or even a Quasar if you wanted to. But I go with the Navigator Ball just to cut down the wind a little bit here. So with our extra mile of five, we're going to be playing the bounce over shot here. We're just trying to get up into this fairway as best as we can. So we'll put our red ring along the top left edge of that um, rough line with our ball guide straight through the middle of the fairway. With top spin and right spin, we'll make our plus 10% adjustment here at max with this club. And just try perfect to hit a perfect shot. here to start things off, which we do. So this shot here is going to position us up the fairway. This is definitely a hole where it's good to keep track of your yardages because then you can dial in your shot off of this second shot. So we are at 326 yards here. So to start off our next shot, what we're going to do is find our min and max distance and try to figure out where we're taking our shot from. So that's the first thing you'll see me do when I set up my shot. There we have our min. I'm going to put my uh, my take shot button at our min. I found my max, and then I figure I'm going to be playing my shot about 25% here. Um, we're going to put on at least four bars of backspin here for this shot with no side spin left or right. And then we're just going to position our ball, you know, you know, with four bars of backspin here, we want to be within one square of the hole. Um, you know, that may seem like it's going to be short of the hole, but with this uphill shot at minus 10%, we want to take this shot. So remember, perfect minus shot. 10% for this uphill shot. We hit this one perfect. It's going to come in with a perfect roll into the hole for the eagle. But don't forget, minus 10% on that shot because it is an uphill second shot. Four bars of backspin on that second shot. All right, we got hole number two here, par five. And we're going to be playing this one with a plus 10% for our elevation for the tee shot. I'm playing it with an extra mile. You can play it with a katana ball or a power three ball, Titan, if you want to. just depends on how far up the fairway you want to get uh, and if you want to be in long iron or wood distance for your second shot. Here with the extra mile five, we're going to be playing it with a Titan ball uh, just to get a little bit more extra distance. If you have a higher level extra mile, then you may not need the, uh, the extra boost from the Titan ball, and the Katana may be fine. But for me, we're going to play with the Titan. Top spin and left spin, we're trying to get up that fairway to the left. And, Perfect you know, shot. depending on what you want to do for your second shot, you may want to overpower the shot a little bit more. Uh, if you back off on your power, you'll be in wood distance for your second shot. If you give it a little bit more juice, then you'll be uh, able to long iron distance for your second shot. And I'm going to show you how to play the second shot both, uh, both ways. So we're going to play plus 30% for our second shot, no matter if we're playing long iron or wood distance. So for this first attempt here, you're seeing I'm really right in between clubs. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the uh, the long iron. If I had my backbone in, I probably would be playing with my wood club here. But since I do have the Goliath in a little bit extra distance, that's why we're playing with the Goliath. So we're going with three backspin here, a little, just a little bit, right about a half bar of left spin. And we want to line this shot up with the hole. It is downhill, so the ball is actually going to be, you know, it's going to go farther than you think it is on the bounce. So that's why we can use this backspin and, and be okay, because uh, we are going to get that extra push from this great downhill shot. shot. We do hit it great. We do not hit it perfect. And unfortunately, you're going to see that that cost us, uh, I, would, I would be willing nice to on. say that cost us the make right there. Uh, perfect ball, I think, would have been in. Plus 30% is how I play that one. So now you're going to see me play the same exact shot with a wood club. Um, and I have a katana ball in this time, as you can see. So we make sure that when we make our adjustment, you know, we're going to be able to, you know, be able to make that adjustment without going into, uh, you know, in between clubs. We go with four backspin here this time, as you can see. And we're going to line up our shot, you know, about one, two squares short of the hole. And we're just going to try to, um, you know, Put this one in line with the hole as best as we can. We make our adjustment there, plus 30%, right at min distance for our Viper. And we hit this one, it's going to come in very nicely. It gets the bounce, we get the, the camera angle, and we drop it, hitting the pin 
in the process for the albatross. So that was definitely awesome right there. All right, moving on to hole number three, par three. Um, all of these par threes on this course are very droppable. I think we're going to see some really big scores here in the rookie. We're going to play this one at plus 10% with a navigator ball and a viper. If you have a sniper, definitely will be a great time to use a sniper. Take advantage of that ball guide that you have with the sniper. So we're going to play with our left ring there right along the edge of the rough line, just in the rough line. As you see, the tip of my ball guide is right in the middle of that green line of squares going towards the hole. Now we have right to left wind, so we need a little bit of a right to left wind push here. Uh, we're playing plus 10% here. We went with three back, two left spin. Perfect shot! And we hit this one perfect. Let's see how this one comes in. Keep in mind the uh, the aim of our ball guide was to the middle of that line nice of green on. squares. And you see we came in about half uh, half a square farther to the left. So you do need to make an adjustment there on the offset of your shot right there for the uh, for the bounce and the wind. And I would aim more towards the right-hand edge of that line of green squares as opposed to the middle of that line of green squares. Hole four here, we're playing a 0% elevation off the tee box. I'm going to show you two different ways to play this hole to the left-hand side. Uh, the first being with the extra mile. Uh, with only a big topper one, I didn't feel comfortable going with the big topper shot, so I used the extra mile. And then our goal is to get ourselves either within thorn or backbone distance for this second shot. So you see me kind of filling around with the, with the big topper. I do decide to just go back to the extra mile, which I have plenty of distance here. We're going to use full top spin and right spin here. And we're just going to hit this shot here um, after we adjust for our wind, which is not a whole lot of adjustment, about one and a half rings. We're going to put a little bit of Perfect right curl shot. on this one just to kind of counteract that right to left wind to straighten out that ball. It's going to come in nicely here, hit the rough, and it's going to roll out uh, quite well. If you want to play that one a little bit more aggressively toward the edge of that top rough line, then you can and possibly hit the fairway on the bounce, and that'll work just as good. So from this top section here, uh, we're going to be playing plus 20%. If we were down there in that lower section, we'd play plus 10%. But up here in the upper section of the fairway, you're going to play a plus 20%. As you see, I'm still within thorn distance here. We're going to be playing no spin on this thorn shot. We're going to be trying to land this shot uh, and just let the natural slope do its work. And uh, we're going to put just barely put any backspin on and a little bit of left spin just to straighten out this ball guide. So we have this one lined up with the hole, trying to uh, judge for the wind. And we're going to make our adjustment here for the thorn at plus. 20%. We make the shot here. It's going to come in very nicely. As you see, we get a wonderful roll to the hole. And pull the bullet in for the eagle. If you go back and watch, I think I was slightly aimed left edge of the cup, which is where it went. So it was a, a good adjustment. Just uh, a little bit off on my, my aim at the cup. So for the second time here, you're going to see me using the big topper. This time I have a little bit higher level big topper. So it's a little bit extra, a little extra yardage here. Uh, we're going to go with a top spin and some right spin here. Um, you know, my goal is to hit the rough and then roll out. I don't want to hit my second bounce on the fairway because I feel like a great left or you know you could you could be into that left rough if you hit the uh, if you hit the fairway on the second bounce. But as you can see, you know we hit the rough, we get a really nice roll down the fairway with all that top spin, and that's going to put us in you know position for our second shot at the hole at that lower level which i say is a plus 10 percent aim point down here on this lower level for this shot so we have our thorn as you can see we're going to try to find our min max and kind of figure out where we want to play our shot and you know we put it up there around the mid distance mark here uh, and at this point here we're just going to try to um to aim our shot at the hole as best as we can I'm pretty sure I don't use any spin here on this shot whatsoever. We just kind of leave this one short of the hole and try to let the roll do the work here. We make our adjustment for the wind, plus 10%. We hit this one perfect. 
and this one's going to come in very nicely as you see we have the angle turn and we drop the nope just short of the hole but we had we had the adjustment correct just need to have that shot inched up just a tiny bit extra on that fairway and that one drops hole number five here is our second par three um, definitely would say plus 10 percent here with a navigator ball and the backbone would be the best club of choice in my opinion what we're going to do is one left spin 0.5 backspin we want half of our blue ring in the rough line in the front left edge and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at our ball guide here i want you all to check out my ball guide as i make my uh, my adjustment here as far as lining this up so as you see i've got the tip of my ball guide kind of like in the you know three quarters to the right on that dark green square i want i want you to put your shot a little bit more towards the middle of that dark green square of, of squares that line of squares and i think if you go with that edge of your ball Perfect guide shot. at the middle of that dark row of squares i think you'll get the drop as you're going to see we come very close here to getting the drop and it's just off nice the right off. edge just the slightest movement of that ball guideline would have been in the hole for the ace if we had made that adjustment hole number six this is a par five where you're really just trying to make sure you get the eagle so off the drive here i'm looking at the big topper i changed no we're just going to go with the extra mile i want my accuracy and my distance here with a titan ball top right spin top spin right spin max we're going to be playing uh, plus 10 percent on this drive here we're going to be using a little bit of right curl as well to counteract that right to left wind push we make our adjustment we're not going to do anything crazy here we want to maximize perfect, perfect shot. possibilities here with this shot and we hit it perfect it's going to put us right here up the fairway in a nice location for our second shot with the big dog so for your second shot big dog uh, we're not going to worry about the elevation you know because we're just going to be going to eyeball our our drop zone for our shot so you know we're trying to drop this ball somewhere around the middle of the fairway with the left spin and depending on how far you get with your drive, it's going to definitely determine the amount of top spin you want to use. Do keep in mind at the back of the green, there is quite a nice little slope that kind of like acts as a backstop on the screen. You'll be able to see it when my ball comes in, but it uh, you know it kind of safeguards you from using too much top spin. We had two. We decided to go back to one top spin, max left spin. We're going to use max left curl, and we're just kind of uh, eyeballing our uh, our landing zone with that wind. Perfect shot. Perfect shot with a full left curl, and this one's going to come in very nicely, as you can see. Very clear of those bunkers, and as you can see, that little backstop on the back of the green right there. It's a, it's a pretty nice little slope nice right there. On. So that should pretty much stop anything from uh, going past the green, as long as you don't you know, overdo it with the, with the top spin or anything. I would say somewhere around one to two top spin on that second shot for that drive, after that drive. All right, our next hole is going to be hole number seven, uh, our last par three. And this is definitely a par three that I think is very droppable. Um, you know, we're going to be using the Viper. If you have the Sniper, though, you know, that may definitely be a possibility. You may need to go with a little bit stronger of a ball to use the Sniper, depending on what level your Sniper is. But with the Viper here, we're playing at min distance with three backspin. We want our second bounce to be just past, uh, you know, a little bit just past the uh, the rough line on that second bounce. We do have a slight headwind, so don't put it too close to the uh, to the rough line, or that headwind may push that ball guide back into the rough. So definitely you want to make sure you have the clearance uh, for this shot in that second bounce. We're playing this shot at 10% elevation change here um, with our Viper. And as you're going to see, we are going to actually hit a perfect shot. This one's going to come in nicely. We do have a left to right wind. So it looks like, you know, we need to play, looks like we need to play that wind a little bit stronger. Uh, so, you know, move the, the tip of our ball guide on our initial aim over just a little bit to the left uh, or with a straight, you know, side wind. You can you can maybe add a little bit extra elevation just to kind of uh, to do the work for you. So that was ten percent. You could possibly just go fifteen percent if you don't want to 
uh, to work on that offset for that hole. Hole number eight, par four. This is definitely going to be a, a hole that is possible to drop the eagle on, I think. Um, you know, we're going to play it to the left-hand side with the extra mile. This is a hole that you want to be careful on the amount of power you use for your ball and also the amount of topspin you use on your driver. So this is an extra mile five with three topspin and a quasar ball. And I think, you know, it's going to be very important to be very mindful of the clubs you're using on this hole. And if you have a higher level extra mile, Great definitely, shot. you know, tap down on that... Uh, on that top spin, don't overdo it because as you can see, this is where three top spin gets me with an extra mile five. So, you know, that's plenty of club and plenty of distance for this shot. 307 uh, was the yardage. So, for my second shot here, we'll be playing plus 30 percent. Uh, it was plus 15 percent on the drive, it's plus 30 percent on the second shot. So this is severely downhill, so you're going to get a nice push on this shot once it bounces. So we're going to need to use a good amount of backspin here for this shot. Um, I wanted to go with four backspin and, um, you know, just a tiny bit of side spin, and I end up with no side spin at all. Now it's just a matter of judging the bounce. As you see, I have my, my second bounce just barely on to the, the, uh, the green, just, on, just barely onto the green. We make our adjustment here for the shot, and Perfect we hit this shot. one perfectly. It's going to come in very nicely, uh, and it looks like it's going to get us the drop, and then nice boom, it stopped just short of the hole. So that second bounce, you know, you want to make sure that you have it just a tiny bit past the edge of where the green starts um, with that type of backspin, or you can just take a little bit of your backspin away, and uh, hopefully you can get that shot to drop, but definitely... I think really a good chance of dropping hole number eight for the eagle. Um, and that second shot was plus 30%. So for this uh, shot, hole number nine, we're going up to the left-hand side. We want to get as far up to the left as we can. Uh, you may see some people with really high-level clubs trying to go berserk bomb to the right-hand side of that next fairway. I think playing it to the left-hand side is going to give you a really good chance um, at finishing this, um, this course out with an albatross. So I'm going with a titan ball. You may not need a titan ball if you have higher-level clubs. And, uh, you know, you want to get as far to the end of the fairway um, as safely as you can. So, you know, don't over-risk the shot if you're not sure, you know, how much distance you have. Um, I went full top spin and left spin with this shot. And as you see, you know, I still had a quite a bit of room to work with. So that's definitely something that you have to, to tune in for yourself. This would definitely be a really good hole for a sniper. If you have a sniper, the ball guide here would be awesome. We're going to go max right spin and three back spin. We're playing this shot at plus 10% uh, for this second shot. And then we just want to line up this, uh, this ball guide with the hole as best as we can. So as you can see, I got my red ring just barely into the rough line there. And depending on your angle for your second shot, you may be somewhere different than that. So I would just do your best to line up that ball guide with the hole. We hit great left, unfortunately. We hit great left here. It's still going to come in very nicely with a nice look at it. And it had really good speed. Um, perfect shot. Who knows uh, what that would have, uh, have done. Thank you all very much for tuning in for this rookie playthrough of the, uh, the Grunberg Slopes tournament. And this is the Christmas tournament. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless.